Today guys, I'm going to be going over another one of these old projects that I did from my very first year at Cal State Long Beach and I'm just going to go through the different phases that it took uh, to finally develop this treasured hair yacht project. So let's just jump right into it guys, let's go! Alright design lifers, before we jump right into it, if you guys are interested in grabbing yourself one of these iToya portfolios, go ahead and click the links down at the bottom. This one here is an 11 by 17, I also have one for 8.5 by 11 which is half of this. That's standard printer size but they come in all kinds of different sizes, A3, A4, whichever one you need. Just go ahead and click the links down at the bottom. This here is going to be the second drawing class of the very first year at Cal State Long Beach. The Ferrari flashlight that I showed you guys yesterday was a second year project and so um, this is going to be a year behind. You guys are going to see my improvements from this one up until the Ferrari one. So you haven't seen that yet. The links should be down below. So I always like to start off again with the hero shot right at first so the viewer exactly knows what they're going to be seeing. And this here is a introduction of the project requirement. So it's going to be a luxury yacht. It's a partner project. Um, one person designs the exterior and the other person designs the interior and luckily I partnered up with an interior designer specifically so that I know they would take ownership of that aspect as I do the outside. So you guys are going to see some of my partner's work as well. Alright, so next one is going to be uh, a page introducing what they're going to be viewing next which is the research and inspiration. These are the ones that I grabbed that I really wanted to place, just really really high end um, stuff, you know, <laughs> personal jet, uh, Rolls Royce and a Bentley and you know some Patek Philippi watch. And then we continue on, this is going to be quick ideation set one. Uh, so you guys are going to see my very, very rough ideation sketches, what this boat can possibly look like. You know, right now I think I'm just warming up. It, my, my final thing looks nothing like this. Some work that my partner did, they catted this out to make sure that the length is all good. And what my job to do is to use this as an underlay to make sure um, that, you know, we're making the size right and the proportions and all that stuff. And if you use something a as an underlay, it really helps a lot with trying to design because you're not worrying too much about perspective and proportion and structure because you have an underlay already set for you. So with that underlay I was able to produce designs like these as you guys can see that angle and this angle here is this angle and that angle so uh, just two different designs here. You guys can see that these sketches are actually getting a little bit more refined so compared to um, just this very very early you know side view profile sketches it starts to get a little bit more defined the more you go along and here is some funky designs as well just trying out different things you know that's why it's very important to do this step is because you want to kind of flush out all the ideas before you really start committing to some of them uh, for your very very final design so quick ideation set to so this is going to be a little more refined i'm going to be spending a little more time on this you guys can see that my partner here she spent a little more time and started detailing out all the different rooms and it's starting to grow a little more. So based off of that underlay, I was able to design uh, this boat here. Just a very quick boat, nothing too special, but I did lay down some marker. And again, the same underlay, but this is going to be a rear shot so that I could do a rear shot of the exterior with you know just like a couple of balconies right here and this is just getting me warmed up to learning how to sketch boats and getting used to all the different parts and stuff but I knew this wasn't going to be anywhere close to the final design I wanted it to look more elegant and you know expensive and higher end like the inspiration page I showed you guys earlier so <clears throat> With that, we grew the boat a lot more. We made it a lot sleeker. The shape, you know, it's more of a teardrop shape. And with this new underlay, 
we uh, I was able to design this exterior, which I'm very happy with the direction. It's a lot sleeker, a lot more elegant now, um, <clears throat> and a lot more higher end, just with the different shapes. And uh, I got a lot of inspiration from a rabbit, so I named this one the Golden Hair, and these are like the two bunny ears of it, and the color of it will eventually be gold. And then just some more playing around with markering. I've never been too comfortable with markers. And then here we go with the final design. I always like to do a clean drawing before I do the final rendering. And the reason why I do this clean, clean line drawing is because I'll make a bunch of copies, print them all out so that I get multiple of these sheets here. And then I'll just go ahead and start markering on this. And if I ever mess up, I'll just toss that one out, go ahead and use another copy and just, you know, start markering it again. So you don't mess up your beautiful line work so this here is the rear shot of the golden hair and as you guys can see just very very clean line work each one probably took me six hours or so so here are some color studies I really like that one and so we went ahead and did the final rendering I threw in the line work sketch right here and this is a Photoshop layout that I ended up printing out there you go this is the side shot Booyah, and the last boom hero shot right there. All right, guys, that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit www.designlifebrand.com to grab yourself one of these awesome, awesome Design Life Brand t-shirts designed um, by designers for designers. Also check us out on Instagram, hashtag Design Life Brand. And also share these videos with anybody you think can benefit from them. All right, guys, this is Jimmy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.